Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ben Myers, and I'm with V1 Sports. I'm in charge of the baseball and softball here at V1, and what I wanted to do is basically uh, kind of just give you an introduction of V1 and, and what we're all about. Uh, to, to start, we've been doing this for about 16 years now with uh, with video analysis, you know, starting in golf. And so what we wanted to do is get into the, the baseball and softball market. So and since I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of what we have to offer, maybe how you want to implement it. So uh, just to start, you know, this is going to be covering the V1 Pro 2010 software. And everything you see here is what, what you'd get if you bought the software as far as the tools, the features, uh, as well as the online lessons. So uh, to start real quick, I just wanted to kind of go over the hardware, you know, what you guys need to to make V1 work on your your computer, along with uh, you know getting the camera going as well. And to start, you know, with the camera, you don't need anything special. Uh, you can get anything from uh, a basic digital camera. You know, the ones we recommend a lot to users is the Casio EXFH100. The one thing you want to look at, you know, when you get a camera, is obviously the frame rate and the shutter speed. You know, the better the frame rate, you know, the clearer the picture is going to be. And if you're outside recording, shutter speed's nice to have, you know, as far as being able to manually adjust that so that you can see the, the picture, you know, nice and clear with the, you know, the obviously the, the light. And if it's dark, then obviously you can adjust that accordingly. So, again, you don't have to go out and get anything, you know, real fancy. You know, really any camera will work. It's just a matter of, you know how clear you want to see the the picture and how many frames you want to be able to go through in that s specific video. As far as computer is concerned, there's uh, you know there's really a, a, an array of computers you can get. You know obviously anything with Windows, XP, Vista, those are going to work nicely with V1. If you do in fact decide to, or if you have a Mac, you know you can run the V1 software with the Mac. The only thing you need to do is you need to run boot camp in order for the V1 software to work. And that just acts, you know, that just creates the Mac to run as a PC. So again, no need to go out and buy anything, you know, um, you know, expensive or, you know, extravagant. Uh, but basic will be fine for you guys. And that's the whole point is we want to make it easy for you guys to use and also cost effective. So a lot of the stuff you guys already have will be fine. So what I wanted to do is just kind of go over real quick on how you get started with the V1 software, how to import a video, and how to set up a student. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, you know, log into uh, the V1 software. And again, this is the V1 Pro 2010 software. So everything that you see here is the same exact, you know, format platform you guys would be using if, in fact, you guys uh, went ahead with V1. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, you know a scan disk in this case, and, and again, like I mentioned before, you know you can use a scan disk, you can use a USB, or you can do FireWire to your you know camera to computer. In this case, we're just going to use a scan disk, and you'll be able to see exactly how it's imported. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of go up to these upper bins up here, and I'm going to right click on no category, and it's going to bring me prompt me to this next screen. With the next screen, you're going to see a box in the lower left, Import. I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to automatically pull me into that scan disk, you know, file that I have plugged into my computer. So in this case, you know, what you can do is you can do a couple different things. If you just decide, you know, if you just took one video, you can just pull one video over. Uh, I, you know, named a couple of these files. So I'm just going to, you know, click on Catching and hit Open. So I'm, at this point, I'm just, you know, importing one video over to V1 software. So it's done. So if I click on that, you'll see the video itself pull in right here. And obviously it's not the, the greatest, but it gives you an idea. So let's say you, you took a, you know, four or five different videos and you wanted to pull them all over into the V1 software. You know, I can basically just go down. Let's see. I want to pull you know, this. Actually, I don't want to do all those, but I'll do this one. And these are two. So we have five in total. So if we hit open... Those are going to copy the files over, so this will kind of give you a, a nice uh, real you know real time look at how long it takes to you know load some videos up. In this case, we did five, and again, you can do as many as you want to. It just depends on you know obviously you know what your time frame is, you know, and how long you want to get everything in there. So, 
We did five, so let's see how long it takes us. I believe we're almost done, and we are done. So I'm going to hit OK. So again, the newest videos that you load into your software are always going to be on the far left, and you'll see this by the date, you know, right down here on the lower part of these different files. So we got five different videos here. And so what I'm going to do next is once I have the, the videos that I want, I'm just going to use this one. So I'm going to right-click on this video file and just put in Sam. So let's just say that the kid's name is Sam. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you see that Sam is up top. Instead of having a number, it's the name. So what I want to do now is basically just show you guys how to you know, make a student or create a student in the library. So what I'm going to do is go over to the students file here, click on that, and I'm going to go down to new. This is your student library, so you can add any students you want to and it's going to save them. So I'm just going to put Seth Scott, and then I'm just going to put in just a random email here. And then the phone number, you know, just put in whatever phone number you want to. And these are the only two things I really put in as far as the information regarding the student. Otherwise, you know, you can put the other stuff in there, but I like to keep it basic and simple. And then when I do an online lesson, you know, it's not only going to go to the email, but I'm going to CC the smartphone as well. And the reason I do that is because if they have an iPhone, an Android, or a smartphone, they're going to be able to get that video on their phone as well. And with that, they can you know, hear you guys talking, see you drawing your lines, and doing the split screen. So everything you do right here on the computer, they'll be able to see it. So I'm going to click Save. And now he's saved, and I'm going to select him as current. So now I have down here at the lower part, I have my name as the instructor, Sam Scott as a student. And again, his video is here. So this is basically just to get you guys going, and, and right now we're pretty much ready to, you know, you can do your analysis, you can just, you know, review the video, but this at least gets you guys going from the beginning of how to get V1 going, how to import video, and how to set up your student within V1 software. So look for the, uh, the next couple of videos coming up, give you a little bit more detail, you know, what the tools do, how to do an online lesson, but just want to keep it nice and basic for you guys, and again, uh, my name is Ben Myers. I'm with B1 Sports. And if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. And I uh, look forward to talking to you guys later.